One of the most important trends in the ever evolving Indian market is the demand for three row vehicles today. Everybody wants the extra space, whether it's to carry large families, whether it's to do long road trips. Three row vehicles is something that Indian customers can't get enough of. And the Maruti Suzuki XL6 has already been a runaway success. But with the facelift of the XL6 coming in, can Maruti improve upon what was already a successful product? I think they can. We are taking a look at the brand new XL6 to tell you what all are the changes that the XL6 offers and how it is a better product than the earlier version. Of course, it's a facelift, so there are not massive design changes, but it's still distinctive enough that you can tell the old XL6 from the new one very very easily you get a new front end lots of chrome led headlights new daylights uh, led fog lamps uh, lots of plastic cladding all around the car as you can see with the wheel arches both front and rear so i think it looks much better than the earlier xl6 what really helps here the earlier xl6 with its 15 inch wheels and 185 section tires looked a little under tired you know? maybe like somebody who skipped a leg day at gym but this with 195 16 inch wheels, the wheels are pretty good looking, has a much more balanced stance. It also gets LED tail lights which are smoked. They look really good and I think it's a massive improvement on the design of the XL6. And the new one looks far more attractive, especially in this deep blue, than the earlier one. The interior of the XL6 also sees some changes. What you get now are ventilated seats, which are a godsend in our summer, but the interior remains all black, which is a favorite for me. You also get a new screen, you get new functionality, new OS, lots of updates. You get a 360 degree camera. Uh, the climate control system is also there and it's fabulously effective. You get dedicated vents for the second row. You don't get them for the third row. But I think with the size of the XL6, you really don't need them so much. Especially when the AC is so effective, I'm currently running it at 24 degrees in Bangalore weather. Uh, the instrument cluster is also very uh, sort of uh, legible. It's, it's designed well. It's a smart hybrid. It tells you so. Maruti claims that you get up to 21 kilometers per litre fuel efficiency in the manual transmission. In the brand new six-speed auto that Maruti offers, uh, it's slightly lower at 20.2, but that's something that we've not been able to test in our short test drive. How is it to drive? Well, let's take it on a ride and find out. So while there are decent enough design changes to the XL6 to make it distinctive, it's not the biggest change for the car. The biggest change for the car is in the mechanicals. Now, the 1.5 litre sounds familiar to the older car, but this is a brand new engine. It comes with a smart hybrid system. It comes with twin spark plugs, increased efficiency, and overall the engine feels fairly uh, refined. Uh, it's, it produces about 102 bhp, 138 nm, uh, which doesn't sound to be very powerful, but in a car size of the XL6 and its weight, I think it's adequate performance. The new six-speed gearbox, though the automatic, does leave us a bit disappointed. I believe the tuning of the six-speed gearbox could be much better uh, at low throttle inputs when you're not really pressing the throttle or trying to be very fast. It seems a little confused, seems uh, uh, to be hunting between gears and doesn't kick down fast enough for performance. But uh, on the other hand, when you really start using throttle aggressively, uh, the XL6 gearbox performs much better. One word of uh, praise here, the new paddle shifters uh, that come with the automatic gearbox, they work very well. And if you don't mind shifting the gears yourself, I think uh, I would prefer to use the paddle shifters than leave the gearbox in D. Another quirk that I don't like, uh, below D, uh, there's a manual mode in the gearbox and you know, instinctively when you shift gears in an automatic you traditionally tend to sort of just put it in the lowest gear which is traditionally uh, the drive but in this case it's the manual and the first couple of times i drove the car i accidentally put it into the manual and then i'm wondering why is the car not shifting up to uh, the second or the third gear so that's something that could have been better uh, i think the manual should have been a switchable 
sort of a selectable separate mode rather than just having it in default it just leaves me feeling a little annoyed because i have to check every time whether i put it in in d or manual one of the advantages of the xl6 well the ride still feels very well tuned it's slightly on the stiffer side compared to the earlier car it's on 16 inch wheels but it's very stable high speed stability is not an issue it tackles bad roads quite effectively and i think even with a full load it will do the job very very well uh, the steering though on the other hand is a bit heavy and i would like it to be slightly lighter because in city traffic and slow moving conditions it can feel a little cumbersome so in a nutshell what do i like about the xl6 i like the styling i like the air conditioning i like the interiors they feel quite good uh, the ride quality is quite good it handles quite decently is there room for improvement yes i think a little more power would not be a problem but i don't think it's a deal breaker the 6 speed gearbox disappoints me a little bit i think the automatic can be tuned better and maruti could do uh, uh, an update to sort of make it work better with the engine uh, the steering could be a little lighter so those are a couple of factors that i don't like so much but overall looking at the money that the xl6 is available at the quality it offers the space it offers it offers three very usable rows of seats i think it's still a very very formidable product and i don't think maruti is going to see any drop in sales for the xl6 with the new version coming out in fact they might even see even more interest considering how much interest people have today in pre-roll cars